Okay, we got the Giga Power Snow Peak little cylinder of gas running the camp stove. Not sure what model this is. Standard self lighting camp stove for backpacking. Piece of ceiling wire with a nice little hook on it. A natural mango LaCroix. You leave the lid closed. You poke a hole in the side with a pin and then you tip it sideways. These are all over on YouTube. We actually did four holes to give our a little more power. And then here you got a uh, ball bearing swivel. That's out of my salmon fishing tackle box. And so you just uh, you hook that on there like that. And then we got ours balanced out. Okay, then over here we got a little bit of gas. Light it. Okay. Now what's going to happen is it takes a little time for the heat to get going in here. You don't want it too hot or your can will get out of balance and get out of whack and the whole thing self-destructs. So I'll turn it up a little bit just to get the water boiling. And then what's going to happen is this heats up the water. There's only about this much water in there. The water starts to boil. It builds steam up here. Since the lid isn't open, it builds up pressure. And then there's one of our holes. And you take the needle and you bend it sideways so that the hole specifically points one direction. So you do that with every hole. So then what happens is you get your, get your water boiling here. And pretty soon you're going to have steam coming out of that hole right there. A little bit of extra pressure. And then as soon as it starts to turn, you want to turn your power down. Otherwise you're going to end up with a situation. Sounds like she's starting to boil. I see steam coming out of the holes now. It'll be any second it'll start turning. It just has to build up enough pressure to ask as act as a uh, jet. And then if you got the bear, ball bearing swivel, you'll have real smooth action. There she starts to go. Now I'm gonna, oh yeah. A little bit of rotation. Any second here we'll get the full action. There, turn down the, all right. You see the steam coming out up there, you can even hear it. So there it is. Ooh, too much. Turn that down a little. You really just need enough to keep it boiling. There's the swivel doing its job. Try to get the can as balanced as possible. That's, of course, the big issue. Okay, I'll turn this up a little bit and you can see what happens. As soon as I turn this up, a lot more things get moving. And I mean, if I crank it, that sucker will get moving really good. If it's balanced, it's not too bad. But there you can see, it's starting to wobble a little bit. There, my gas is off. So that would be the pop can steam. Now, if you don't have this peak, I think one of these guys on the camping website is like, I don't know, they're probably like 30, 40 bucks. Maybe a nice one's 50, but um, aside from that, all you really need is a blowtorch. Uh, if you got a Coleman propane cylinder with a blowtorch, or I don't know if a candle would work. You'd have to have a pretty good candle. I mean, maybe if you had one of the torch style lighters, that would be the cheapest way to do it. You do need a good amount of heat, but of course, once the water's boiling, you really don't need that much heat to keep the steam coming. Let's get her going again here. A little bit of gas. Light it. Turn it up. And she's still hot. It's gonna boil right away. I don't know if you can see, but there's some steam coming out. So if I turn it down, a little rotation. Okay, now I'm gonna crank it. 
I mean, instantaneous. Turn it down. Oops, went all the way down. There's. And crank it. All right. Pretty neat project that's relatively easy to do. And uh, this is kind of just the experiment that fuels bigger and better things. So we're going to get some pipes and we're going to get some, make ourselves a little boiler out of a, and there you can see a little steam coming out of the uh, holes. But yeah, it's kind of just uh, food for thought. You take something like this and then you move on to uh, something that's actually usable. That's it. Thanks for watching.